Um, we're having a lot of problems with this one, and a lot of it comes down to drawing nets. Um, a net, you guys are having some problems drawing nets that are functional. This first one right here, remember this is a right triangle right here, right? When you draw your net, your right triangle has to be in the middle, and it can't be. I've seen a lot of these, and part of this is my fault yesterday for drawing it that way, but your net needs to look like a right triangle. If you draw it like something else, if you draw it with the points in the middle out here, it's going to mess up all your numbers. And you need to put the right angle in it. The reason... Does it help you glare? Does it help to glare? Okay. You are. So, the reason we put the right angle so we remember where we're putting stuff. So here's the right angle, right? What are the sides measured at the right angle? So 8 and 6, right? Yes. So what's the other side length measurement? What's the other side? Ten. This one here is 10. Okay, and how high Ten. is the prism? Ten. So we've got that one, right? Everyone got that written down? I see a lot of you just kind of staring and watching. Will, you got that drawn? Like that. Okay, so now what we end up with is one big rectangle. Right? Well, one side's 10. What's 10 plus 8 plus 6? 10 plus 18 plus 24. 24. So this side is 24 long, right? What's 10 times 24? 240. So that's our pH, right? Our perimeter times height is 240. Now let's look at our triangles. So really, our formula is S equals perimeter times height, which we just did. This is the perimeter times the height. It's the perimeter of this triangle. 6 plus 8 plus 10. Correct? Yes, so I could have done this two ways. I could have laid it out. I could have got the perimeter of the triangle. Plus 2 times the area of the base. Well, what's the area of the base? Wait, no. Inter what is our base in this? Oh, it's triangle. triangle. So this is our triangle is our base. So we need to find the area of a triangle. So this is two times. What's the area of a triangle? One half. One half. Base height. Base times height. Now what's two times one half? One. one. So we can lose that, right? Yes. What's base times height? What is eight times six? 48. So that's our perimeter times height plus 2 times the area of the base. So total is 288 centimeters squared, right? Does that make sense? You pulled all the papers out yet? Pull all the papers out. Okay. Go outside. All right, so let's draw another um, prism. This one's rectangular. The net gets pretty simple. Remember, lazy person's net here. I draw a big rectangle, and I break it up into four parts. And then, because it's a rectangular prism, remember, it's got four sides. Triangular only has three. Then I put my two bases out here somewhere. Everyone got that so far? Some people are still drawing. Lots of erasing. It's good to do things in pencil. It makes it so much easier to fix things. All right. So now I label things. What is my base? Five. It's the thing on the bottom, right? Yes. yes. So it's 5 by 4 by 5 by 4, right? Yes. So 5 by 4. And I put it up here because this applies to both these, doesn't it? Yes. And remember, I said before, the pattern repeats. So 4, 5, 4, 5. 
Does that make sense? You got that labeled? And what's my height? Nine. Nine. Okay, I know what to So again, the formula for surface area is perimeter times height plus two times the area of the base. Well, what's the base in this case? What's the formula for the area of a rectangle? So not B, we're looking L times width or base times height, if you want to go there and call it that way. So let's do perimeter times height. Well, this is the perimeter, right? Yes. So it's eight. Well, it's, it's five plus four. Nine. Plus five. Eighteen. Plus four. Eighteen. Eighteen. So that's 18 is our perimeter times the height of nine. What's 18 times nine? Don't blurt. Let them. You should right now be using your calculator. You should not have your knees up just doing your paper and filling it in. It's participation that gets you it. 162. 162. So that's our first perimeter times height. Then 2 times length times width. So 2 times, what's the length of this rectangle? Up here, this is our base. What's the length? Five in the width. Four. So two times five times four. What's two times five times four? Four two. No, I, there's some people I'm waiting for them to actually turn their calculator on. What you got, Reed? Two times five times four is forty. So we add these two together. What's one sixty-two plus forty? He blurted faster than you could. 202, and then we go back and add our inches squared. Okay. The last one, we've got a triangle. This one's a regular triangle. It's not a right triangle. So our net. Remember, all around the side, the three parallelograms are what shape? <coughs> What are the three? They're, the three parallelograms are rectangles. Oh. oh. Yeah. Think about this. This is a triangular prism. For those on the screen, I'm showing this right here. Triangular prism. The base is a triangle. The sides are what sort? What shape? Rectangles. Rectangles. So we got three rectangles, right? So I just draw my net diagram with three rectangles. That's kind of a small net diagram. Are these right triangles? So I'm going to make it my middle one, and I'm just going to make it a cool hatty triangle with a little dash down the middle. That will give us the height, right? So let's go around. What is, what is the base of this triangle? What's the base of this triangle? Eight. That's the thing. It's, if you look at it, when you're doing triangle area, the base will be where the perpendicular line reaches. So the base is eight, right? The other sides are, what are the other sides? Five, five and? Five. five and five. And what's the height? Six. I got Aaliyah speaking, but not many others. Six. Six. You guys see it? Remember, it's participatory. Oh, that's and now we look at, we'll need this later, but what's the height of this triangle? Three. 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 And a little, little arrow to three. I like the little arrows to the height in the triangle because it doesn't confuse me that it's part of any other measurement. The little arrow tells me I'm looking at just that height spot, not anything that's actually part of it. So let's get the perimeter times the height. That's this P times H. So what's the perimeter? We'll add them up. 5 plus 8 plus 5. That was almost a plus 5 there. Um, 18. 18. So 18 times the height. So six. Still on the screen up there. So, Chris, what'd you get for 18 times six? Huh? 108. 108. Plus two times the area of the base. What kind of base do we have? A triangle. 
So what's the formula for the area of the triangle? And what's 2 times 1 half? One. 1. Anything times 1 is itself, right? Yeah. So the base is 8, and the height is 3. three. So what's 8 times 3? 24. Shh, slow down. She blurted it, though. It's 24. So now I add 108 and 24. What'd you get, Will? Uh, two four. Plus, times Plus 24. Oh, yeah. Two four. That might be problematic. What'd you get, Gavin? Um, 132. 132. We go back and bring our inches in. Inches squared. Draw the net. If you guys keep drawing the net, Eventually, you're going to start seeing the net, and you won't have to draw it anymore. It'll start, you'll see a shape, and you'll start picturing it done in a net. It'll be worse when it comes Christmas time, and you get all those Christmas presents, and you're like going, oh, look, I know what that net looks like. Three sides, two triangles. It's a Toblerone. What? Never, you don't know what a Toblerone is, never mind. It's a chocolate bar. It's a chocolate bar. And then served oh. served in, a, in a triangular prism. And then everyone looks at you like you it's okay. It happens. Okay. Any questions? Nope. So you have some homework. We're going to go through that. And that ends our lovely video. Bye. Bye.